Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate when they ate it like we were evolved to do. Rosemary, one of my favorites. I like it in food as flavoring and there is also a long history of the medicinal use. It's native to the Mediterranean but it can also be found in other parts of Europe in our ancestors diet. Rosemary actually grows almost the whole year round uh, depending on where you live but it grows mostly in the spring and summer that's when the plants grow the largest but yeah it's an evergreen shrub at the end of the day just like a Christmas tree so it can be found uh, wild in nature growing year round and it's one of the few foods that uh, our ancestors would have had in their diet fresh year round. It's actually one of the oldest plants we have written records of humans using. It was found in old cuneiform tablets from 5000 BC so that's 7000 years ago. We don't know much else um, because not much written records uh, were kept at that time of course uh, but we do find traces of it being used in as an important tool in the Egyptian uh, mummy burials. We also find records of it in the European folk tradition up until a couple hundred years ago and even today. So it could be a very ancient um, like funeral practice dating back to when we were all one people. I think even uh, in folk tradition in Australia they still use some rosemary at, uh, at funerals. Then of course when literacy uh, pops up in the history and we see more written records of things we find it uh, in, in use in ancient Greece and Rome from about 2,000 years ago. Ancient Greek scholars would uh, wear rosemary like um, bandanas or what are those things called, the little crowns on their head to help them uh, stay sharp and keep their memories clear. Rosemary was also burned in uh, study rooms to purify the air and keep the senses sharp. Uh, there's also a Spanish fairy tale where a princess touched the head of the hero with rosemary to restore his memory. So lots and lots of records of rosemary being used for the mind and memory. Turns out, ancient humans weren't actually that dumb. One modern study found significant improvements in a cognitive performance within 20 minutes of inhaling rosemary essential oil. It also has a list of potential benefits, you know, now found today, mostly having to do with digestion and brain function, but also it being used as an antiviral, antifungal, those types of things. And nutritionally, it does not have a whole lot of vitamins and minerals uh, like we would find in other herbs, but it does have something uh, called phytochemicals, which are really great for the health. So that is definitely something that is scientifically uh, proven that they've done studies on. Now, coming into the north of Europe, rosemary, like I said, has been used in the south for many, many thousands of years, but we don't have records of rosemary being used in the north of Europe until the time of Charlemagne about 1200 years ago. But I'm sure it was brought there before through trade and they had access to these things. It's one of those herbs that when it's dried, it lasts for a very long time and it's easily transported. So yeah, it could have very easily been in the northern uh, European ancestral diet for two to three thousand years as long as they've had trade with the Mediterranean and of course in the southern European uh, diet for seven thousand years or more as I mentioned before. I eat it, I like the taste, it's cheap to buy and easy to find. Um, in the store dried just in little you know pepper shakers and you can even find it fresh a lot of the time too in stores or even in, out in nature if you know what to look for i coat my cooking with it honestly three times a week probably i really like it you can also use it in tea or get the essential oil form and do the aromatherapy thing matter of fact in my uh, competitions that i've had just to keep my brain uh working properly especially in a fight or or a jujitsu match a wrestling match you might coat a little a couple drops of uh, rosemary essential oil on your uh, gloves or something or, or spray it around in the room while you're warming up. I felt that is uh, great for um, uh, cognitive performance and memory and focus and things like that. And like I said, these types of things are uh, uh, definitely uh, have been studied scientifically and does have some good effects. And again, rosemary is in season year round. One of the few things that our ancestors would have been able to eat the whole year. So definitely one of my favorite things and good in the diet for for uh, most people.